Dream Team, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are back with Russell Howard, back with Boris Johnson, continuing to be absolute rubbish. I got to hear this man speaking more riddles, bro. I got, I got to hear it. I'm so excited. Before we jump in, make sure you subscribe, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. What we got? Through their eyes. <laughs> what a week of news has been. Half of England now face tighter restrictions, including 9 million people in the capital. People in London, York, Essex and other areas are banned from mixing indoors. Just as we simplified our national rules with the rule of six, we will now simplify and standardise our local rules. Excellent. And how are these new simple rules going down? The country is so confused. I think it's been confusing from day one, really. I'm sick of it. It's confusion. You don't understand? No idea. Nobody knows. There are too many different orders coming in, one after another, and we never know where we stand from one day to the next. He's fucked it. <laughs> <laughs> you can see why people are confused. There's so many rules and loopholes. For example, pubs in Tier 3. They have to shut down, but... Pubs can stay open and sell booze if they sell no. a Cornish pasty <laughs> and a side salad. Is that for... That was an actual... What the... <laughs> oh, jeez. It's like Boris is making it up as he goes along. <laughs> um, uh, you can go to the pub if you've got a pasty. Uh, you can visit your nan if she's eating Monster Munch. And... <laughs> Jews are fine as long as you've got a dairy lee dunker. It's <laughs> ridiculous. No wonder people yeah. are angry. One pub on Merseyside changed their name from the James Atherton to the Three Bellends. <laughs> <laughs> it gets matter. Boris Johnson confirms indoor sex is banned in certain lockdown tiers. <laughs> The economy's in tatters, and he's promoting jogging. <laughs> Check the NHS. <laughs> fucking a hedge. <laughs> but make sure you take a pasty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is madness. You can't have sex outside in this country. Britain is freezing. Ooh. You get your cock out, it look like you got three bollocks. <laughs> where's the romance? Who wants to give someone a hand job? Who's holding an umbrella? <laughs> oh, oh, Britannia. <laughs> also, let's not muck around. There's so much grey area. What does indoor sex mean? Can you get yeah. in a caravan? Can you get tugged in a tent? Can you flirt in a yurt? Can you a nut in a hut? Do you head in a shed? Can you deep throat in a motorboat? Can you wham bam thank you man if you own a wigwam? It's... Well, who is writing this for Russell Howard, bro? Who is this man's writers, bro? They're golden. They're absolutely golden, dog. And this is my favourite detail of the story. Under these guidelines, if you're having sex in this country, you must adhere to the rule of six. <laughs> if six of you want to bang in the street, that's fine. But seven, put the dick down and step away from the wigwam. <laughs> There's more, there's more rules, right? As if students haven't suffered enough. Have you heard what's happening in York Uni? Students with corona are told to stay in rooms a minute longer if there's a fire in the halls. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Trust me, Amy. No, I don't care what you got. You ain't, stay, you ain't staying in that room. If there's a fire break out, everybody rush your dad evacuated. That is an insane rule. Who's going to do that? Oh, it's a no fire. One. <laughs> Two. 
who I better not endanger other people's <coughs> lives. <laughs> really? I wouldn't want to give them something that they'll statistically recover from. <coughs> oh. <laughs> it feels like the reason we've got all these mad rules is it's because Boris didn't deliver what he promised. We will have a test, track and trace operation uh, that will be world beating. World beating? It's a bag of shit. <laughs> Millions of us have downloaded the app and look how many alerts it's sent. The coronavirus contact tracing app for England and Wales has only sent one alert about an outbreak of coronavirus since it was launched two weeks ago. <laughs> it's lazier than my eye. <laughs> is as good at saving people as this lady. Prosecco or baby? Prosecco. <laughs> <laughs> Did Boris announce the vaccine in a clear way? What do you think? Uh, we've talked for a long time, or I have, about the distant bugle of the scientific cavalry uh, coming over the brow of the hill, I can tell you that tonight that toot of that bugle is louder. What the fuck are you talking bro, about? Bro, I, I promise you, bro. I, every time, I don't know. I would Russell Howard. What are you saying, dog? Can you speak to us like an actual person? Can you stop trying to speak in riddles and, and all of this and actually just talk to us? You can say, hey, the cavalry is coming for this coronavirus. You know what I'm saying? We got more scientists working on cures. We got more we got more doctors and trying to get rooms cleared and we got better testing available. No, you have to speak in this is these weird riddles that nobody understands, dog. Of that bugle is louder. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> we want to know about the vaccine, not a brass band. The toot of the bugle is louder. That's not advice. That sounds like something he'd say when he's shagging. Princess Nut Nuts, hold my bugle. It's about to toot. Thump it, bump it, <laughs> stick it on my trumpet. I am so alone. It wasn't just Boris. All right, Jace. The Brexit trade talks go into extra time as the UK and EU agree to keep talking. Boris Johnson and the European Commission president say both sides are still very far apart. Ah, uh, it's like a turd that won't flush. <laughs> Mind you, I'm not surprised Boris didn't get a deal given the bollocks he was talking. This was kind of a bit like twins and uh, the UK is one twin, the EU is another. And if the EU decides to have a haircut, then the UK has got to have a haircut. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? I bet the EU were baffled. Mr. Johnson had been there to discuss the fishing quotas. Who wants pigtails? <laughs> what? I do not. I know that face. <laughs> Somebody wants a mohawk. Oh Boris Johnson is the last man to be lecturing people about hair. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's been sprinkled yeah. with alpaca pubes and wired to a Van de Graaff generator. <laughs> <laughs> so not only does he look like shit, did you hear about his attempt at charm? As Boris Johnson spotted the EU's chief Brexit negotiator, Michel Barnier, approaching, he attempted to break the ice with a moment of humour. Oh, Lord. And what was that humour? Pointing a finger at him, he declared, you gave me COVID. <laughs> and we wonder why we didn't get a deal. <laughs> you nearly fucking killed me, you bastard! <laughs> Stay away from this froggy wanker, he's absolutely riddled! <laughs> <Why is negotiating? laughs> Where'd you stand on dreadlocks? <laughs> oh, I love Russell Howard, our dog. I love his channel. He's just hilarious. That's all we got. Make sure y'all subscribe. Re-notification bell. Give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. It's your boy, d -Neo. Out.